first, you know, first off is congratulations on uh, signing a new four or five deal with the UFC. You know, are you happy with how everything was handled? Yeah, I'm, I, I was happy. You know, being uh, being out for, for through an injury for for quite some time, but I'm being um, on my fights. I'm a finisher, so all my two victories was one KO, one submission, two tough opponents. So I think I show my worth. I show my worth from all the events, and they and they see potential in me, and that's why they decide to renew. Definitely, definitely. You know, I would be. I would be very disappointed if they did not renew you in a contract. You know what I mean? Like, didn't wasn't the last fight on short notice, right? When you stepped up. Yes, it was a six day short notice. It wasn't happy with my performance. I think the me trying to to make the division limited that depleted my body and that reflected on my performance. But if if I have every time I I had a full camp and I did weight, and it was the it was my way. So we're just gonna go back to that. That was there. What other lessons did you learn in that last fight against Daniel Pineda? I think it was just how I really wanted to get into the rankings. I just like want to push the train. My train was. I had a lot of hype behind me, and I tried to keep the momentum going. But yeah, it was just not a good calculation trying to squeeze the weight cuts in such a short amount of time. So. Yeah, just got to be more careful about that. Lesson learned. We leave, we learn, and we still die stupid. Just don't make the same mistake again. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, no one's going to hate you for that, though. You know what I mean? Stepping up on six days' notice and, and taking on a tough guy like that, um, it just shows you that you're eager to, you know, get in there and fight and prove to everybody that, you know, you're one of the best. So, you know, a little setback, but, you know, it is what it is. And uh, yes. since that fight, man, you... You've been away for a long time, about two years now. The knee injury. How did that actually happen? So I was training with the knee injury. I was training with Darren Cadwell. He's a train partner from Bellator Champion. And we are doing wrestling. We did, uh, we did the wrestle the day before, and he took me down a million times. And I'm like, bro, got to take this guy down. So we were sparring and the next day. And I do a, a, I tried to do a judo trip on him. I was Soto Gari that I jump and got it. And I got the first one and I started making fun of him. And when I tried to do the second one, he created balance and he fell into my leg. So that was, that was the injury cure. And I have to, to pull out the fight against was Billy Corantillo at that time. I think that was the fight I had scheduled. Yeah, and everybody was looking forward to that fight as well. And, uh, but, uh, you know, with uh, with the injury, did you know instantly that, you know, your leg was, your knee was needed surgery? Like you felt it? It was not good. It was not a good sound. It was a very painful right from the start. And then when we did the, the, yeah, same for MMA here, we were good because we have a, it's a, we have a doctor on staff here. So the doctor came, took a look and he's like, yeah, it doesn't seem very good. And we have a physical therapist too. They all look, they're like, yeah, it doesn't seem quite good. And I, I still want my mind, I still want to fight. So I ice a little bit and tried to train next day. And I was just like losing my balance. And we did the MRI. It was a, a full tear of the ACL. So I'm like, yeah, man, we got to do surgery. So I did the surgery. And 11, well, a year later, here I am. When I was talking to your brother, I think he was telling me that they flew you out to South Dakota to have the surgery. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. So I went to South Dakota to send for Pentagon with Dr. Reeves. And we did the surgery. It was a successful surgery. That's it. Same for in the UFC team. They they took care of me real good. Hey, I'm, I'm ready to be back. I can't wait to be back. So hopefully on this fight, I can show the vintage blaze. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, I know fighters, they want to come back as fast as possible. How did the rehab and recovery go for you? It was tough, to be honest. I, I was expecting to be tough, but not this tough. One of my, Robbie Lawler had the same injury as me. So we were talking a lot and he's like, bro, it's going to take a while. You're not going to feel good. You're not going to feel good. And I'm like, yeah, nah. But the first, I would say, four months of recovery, man, I was flying, like, Everything was going through the doctor, everybody, the physical therapy team, everybody was super impressive how 
my body was recovering very quickly, but they got to the fifth month, I started feeling pain and dealing with a lot of a lot of pain on the patella tendon, a lot of inflammation. So yeah, Robbie, it was right. I, I said, yeah, Robbie, it's like the pain. So I said, I told you, it's not easy. So take your time, strengthen your leg, stay strong, keep working out, keep strengthening the leg, and that's what I'm doing. And now I, I feel ready to come back. Staying patient seems like that's gonna, that was important for you. Was that difficult? It was difficult, but you got to I, I have goals on my on my UFC career, so I need to to adapt, right? You cannot got to be I'm a Catholic, so got to be in God's time, not in my time. I want something to happen quickly. God had different plans. I got to respect and trust him to guide to the to his to the path that he wants for me. And keep striving to do my best every day, and that's what I did. It was I just like just get a little better, a little better, a little better. Eventually, I, f- I feel good. And, you know, just your athletes. Nobody's never hundred percent. Everybody's trying to push the limits. That's what we do here MMA. That's why it's a, such a unique sport. That's a favorite can lose to a guy that nobody ever knew. But you gotta be ready. You gotta stay ready. You gotta do the right things and the results sometimes show sometimes doesn't but you're just trying to do the best yeah yeah definitely and when did you get back into full training when you were able to go live oh took my while. i could go live on striking first i think four four and a half months i did some striking pad work but not 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 stri- not sparring and then when it was six months it's like you can spar now but careful who spar i had to wear a brace so Don Joy, he was one of the the sponsors of the team. They 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 made a custom brace brace for me, like a titanium custom brace. They sent some people here. They measured my knee, and they did a super like a Ferrari brace for me. So it's a cool brace. So I was wearing the brace to do the the training. Saying slowly, I think when it was seven months, he's like, all right, you're good to go. You can do most things. I wasn't comfortable doing all of the things. But I did what I could, but now I'm comfortable. So it took a while. It wasn't, wasn't a, uh, it was a smooth recovery, but it is with a lot of bumps in the road. Yeah, you know, like you said, in, in time, things will happen. And now it's happening. Yes. You're making your return. UFC Long Island, Kusain Askalbov, undefeated record, 23-0. He's making his UFC debut against you. Were you kind of surprised that they matched you up against him? I was I was uh, was expecting some more 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 fights inside the company, but um, I want to be the champion. I'm still I'm 34. I'll be 35 soon. But you, I watch Glover Teixeira, and that guy's inspiration, man. The guy, he was champion last year. The guy is 44 now, right? I think 44. So I look at the first title. His title. Challenger, he was 37. I want to do before him. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to wait till I'm 37, but I can do it, man. The guy can do it. I can do it. I'm still in good shape. I'm professional inside the cage, outside the cage. I don't have a crazy lifestyle. I'm a family man like my brother. We do good things. We train and we try to improve. So I see that I can do it. I was, like I said, I was expecting someone with uh, not this guy is tough. This guy is definitely tough. But I was expecting someone like Caceres, Ryan Hall, or something like that, someone with a more recognizable name. But I want to be the champion, so I don't care for the name of the victim. That fight, Glover versus Yuri, you know what I mean? That was one of the craziest fights of all time. And Glover almost finished him like three times, four times. How wild was that yeah. for you to watch? Yeah, it was a crazy... I'm, I'm a huge fan of Glover. And man, it was... It was sad to, to see the end of the fight because I know the guy worked super hard. He was in Brazil for a long time. Like, there was no competition for this guy. I, I was to be a commentator in Brazil. I commented some of his fights. Mm-hmm. And, man, it was like, man, this guy go there. Like, he got the quick work. First round, and always first round finish. He was, like, so above everybody else. Mm-hmm. And he, but he couldn't fight the UFC because of these issues. And eventually, when he got... People didn't know who he was much. I'm like, man, this guy would be a problem. He'll fight for the title soon. People, no, no, I don't know who this guy is. Man, 
keep an eye for this guy because he's excellent grappler. He has heavy hands, but he can mix it up. Like, very few guys can, so he can bring the fight to his style. He was having a lot of trouble with Ipohacha at the start of the fight, with the striking, I think, with the range, with the distance. At the end of the fight, he was dominating the striking. Mm. So there was no point to go for the guillotine and be on the bottom, but eh, it is what it is. He learned his lesson. Yeah. I doubt next fight he'll do the same. Yeah. No matter what, you know what I mean? He's an inspiration for so yes. many people around the world. Now, uh, going back to your fight, your opponent, you know what I mean? He's 23-0, and 0, so you must have went back and, and checked some of the, the fights out. What do you think about him and, and his fighting style? Well, he's tough. He mix it up. It's, it's hard to see, like, how good he is because I I don't think he faced world-class competition. Just, just what I think. I don't think he never faced a world-class competition. I think he faced some okay guys, but you see the records of the guys that he fought, he's like, also, yeah, yeah. okay. So it's hard to see, but he's definitely, Tyler has a lot of experience, a ton of experience, 23 fights. I don't know how many fishers they have, but probably has more submissions than I do. So but so what? That doesn't mean anything because the it doesn't matter. If you put me to fight, I'm not saying that, but if you put me to fight the kids, I'll beat all the kids. <laughs> I'm not saying he fought kids, but who who he fought? I don't know who he fought, but in my mind, my next fight, my next opponent's always the best in the world, and I train as hard as I can. I kill myself at the gym. I train really hard conditioning. I do my diet. I do my mental coach. I do everything that I can to face the best version of us above that day. Hopefully he's good. And um, I can't wait to get there, get a fight, get a good fight and get a good win and, and enjoy. Yeah. So mentally you're preparing for every fight. Like it's basically a title fight. The guy is the best in the world. Yes. Now, how has the, the training room been the last couple of weeks for you at Sanford? I uh, will have a lot of guys here, but I'm, I'm, we have a lot of guys and a lot of fights coming coming up so the coaches are very very busy so i have a i have a, a good training partner he last fight was the ego fc he's a good guy but he's just not being able to put that in the fight yet kai uruguay so he's been being my main training partner for this camp i have a lot of other guys too that help me jerry gordon i have adia leek sean soriano Ori rivera i have like the, the same for charles roses at the team Claudio Puelas. So we have like Christos Jagos just fought. We have like Michael Johnson. Like there's so many guys at the gym that's hard to remember everybody. But I'm doing most of my work for Kyle. He has he can he can do us above game similar to, to what he does and Kyle's helped me to get ready. And my brothers were going to come in the corner this time for me again. So well, it would be a good team. No doubt. And, and what what do you feel different about yourself heading into this fight, your return? I think I just the, the mental strength, the mental push, you know. I, I think I have this different from most guys. If you, if you watch my career, I did very good at jiu-jitsu competition. And then when I made my transition to MMA, I went to 1FC, which was which was a big show at the time. Hey, look at my record. There was no easy fight, man. They're like, this guy tested me from the start. On my second, first fight of the company, I fought a guy that was 5-0, and was 1-0. and My second fight at the company, they made me fit Harry Samantha. The guy had over 60 fights. I had two fights. And none of, if he combined both of my fights, it was not a minute. <laughs> I fought, I had less than a minute in the cage and fought a veteran with over 61 fights. So after that, I fought former champion, a Choto champion, a team of fee. So and after, after one FC, I'm like, all right, all right, let's do something. Went to Titan. Then I came to watch the fight, looking for a fight. I'm like, all right, my chance to, to go brag, grab the contract. And the guy invited me to contend the series. I'm like, God, seriously? <laughs> Another fight? Just give me the contract, bro. So, contender series. I finished Derek Minna. And then, but a lot of ups and downs, man. And I keep 
striving, like I said, every day to do my best. I had my open, I opened my own gym while, I'm tr- while I was hurt. So I opened the gym here in Lantana. The way martial arts at the time I had, I focused on my entrepreneurship career, I would say, a little bit. I'm a jiu-jitsu professor. I teach most of the classes uh, I sent for me for the pros as well. So my schedule was busy. It was not, it was not easy. But, you know, I just kept working and keep working. When you're hard work, I think you're going to get rewarded. And the time is coming, July 16. I'll get rewarded for this hard work, all this recovery, all this patience. And it's time to, to, get, the, to get the paycheck again. How do you think you're going to get rewarded? What are you expecting in this fight? How do you feel like you're going to perform? I think, he, I think he's a grappler. I think he strikes, but I think Asabov is a grappler. He's mainly a grappler. Eventually, we're going to grapple. I don't know when. Then I'll finish him. Just like, just like I said with Derek Mini. I just need one grappling exchange. One. I'm, I'm, there are a lot of guys under my, on my division. They're good at jiu-jitsu. Like Ryan Hall, for example, he fought for Mini. They grappled most of the fight, and he couldn't finish. With Mini, there was, I don't know, less than minutes on the ground for me. I managed to get a finish. That's how sharp my submission game is. And I think he's going to sleep on my strike. People, my striking is being very sharp. Trained a lot of it with the guys he has sent for, Jason Strout, with Navarro, with Harry. So my, my, my striking is sharp. He's going to be surprised. Oh, he's going to shoot. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look for the grappling. No, he's going to look for the grappling. We're going to have one grappling exchange, and that will be it. That will be the end of the fight. I think it will be a submission. All right. Well, July 16th, man, UFC Long Island, you're back in action. Herbert, I'm so glad you're back yeah. and you're fully recovered and all of that stuff because, you know, after your last fight, I know you were very hungry to get back. So thank you so much for the time. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you for having me.